Hey guys, my name is Shireen and I just wanted to come on here and just share what was on my heart a couple of days ago. I believe that the Holy Spirit brought to my heart and mind Psalm 42 1. And I was thinking about it and thinking about it and wondering if I should post it here and I came across my friend's Instagram post and what did he post? Psalm 42 1 <laughs> and so I believe that that was just confirmation for me to post the scripture and hopefully to just share a little bit and I pray somehow it will encourage you and um, just wanted to leave leave you with this uh, little verse and Psalm 42 1 I'm gonna read in the NASB version or the NASB and it says as the deer pants for the water brooks so my soul pants for you O God and I thought about that verse and and I looked at a picture of a deer and then of course as you see here I posted a picture of a deer and I posted a video of a deer longing for the water now I couldn't find one with a deer drinking from the water brooks but even I see this deer it looks like the deer is longing to just jump into the water and walk through the water and to just be in the water, to be in the refreshness of this water. Maybe to cool itself off or to just take a moment and to just feel the, the coolness, feel the gentleness of the water. And I'm like, Lord, I want my soul. I truly want my soul. To be as the deer that pants for the water brooks. I want to long for you. I want to thirst for you. I want to pursue you with passion and with zeal. And it's even what my friend wrote. And his name is Simeon underscore the underscore Bible man on Instagram. You should check him out. <laughs> And what he wrote was just so beautiful. And it says, the proof of your desire is in your pursuit. The pursuit of God will lead to holiness, purity, passion, zeal, and power in your life. The broken cisterns of this aggressive world can never satisfy you spiritually. Pursue God. Walk in the word and I think that is such a beautiful statement that he wrote and it's so true the proof of your desire is in your pursuit and it's just as how the deer when the deer is thirsty and it's desiring to go after that water to drink of it so that it can quench its thirst i want my soul to have a longing and a desire and a thirst for god it as it has never had before and in order for our souls to be in pursuit of the Lord that way in order for our souls to long for the Lord that way we have to draw near to him he says draw nigh unto me and I will draw nigh unto you Jesus says follow me and I will make you fishers of men right so everything is in our pursuit and in pursuing him he already came for us now it's time for us to go after him, to pursue him, to long for him. And how can we do that? By spending time in this precious word that is spirit and life. 
by spending time in prayer, by spending time even in fasting, turning aside our fleshly desires, our fleshly wants, pushing aside the things of this world, as he puts uh, cisterns, the broken cisterns of this aggressive world can never satisfy you spiritually. Nothing in this world can ever satisfy us. It's only Jesus who can satisfy our long, thirsty soul. And so I didn't want this to be long, and I'm sorry that I'm rambling on, but I pray that we all, all of us who serve the Lord, that our souls will long and thirst for the Lord. Let us be in pursuit of Him and loving Him and longing for Him. And I will just leave you with this. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you desire and I long to worship thee and I long to worship thee and I long to worship